Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. This video is an opportunity for you to join me as I get my tentative yet comprehensive plan for the week down on paper. I'm going in with the green Hobonichi stencil to make a little um, hash mark border to separate that third imaginary column on the right side of the left side of the spread. Apparently my pen didn't go all the way down into the little stencil marks on the top third or so of the page. So I just went in after the fact and manually added those little hash marks. I'm going in now to do the projected weather for the week. I just go into my phone and go to the free weather app and jot down the projected weather of the week. And I always record the low and high temp that's projected for each day and do some little hand-drawn weather doodles for the projected weather. We're having, fortunately, no severe weather or storms this week, but we do have, it looks like, three days in the middle of the week with some rain and clouds, and we've had a lot of dreary weather lately, so I'm really looking forward to this weekend where it looks like we're gonna have full sunshine on Saturday and Sunday. And then in the bottom of that same little block on the right side, I'm going in and just jotting down my projected meal plan for the week. I'm using a Uni Jetstream 0.7 ballpoint pen, which is essentially um, just like the Hobonichi pen that comes with their planners when you order uh, directly from the company. This one just is a little bit bolder in that it's a 0.7 and the Hobonichi pen comes in a 0.5. But I had tried to use a fountain pen in my Hobonichi weeks, maybe three or four weeks ago. And I learned very quickly that that is simply not going to work for me. I wanted to give it a try just to switch things up because I'm a huge fountain pen lover. But the issue that I had is <clears throat> throughout the week when I needed to go in and make adjustments to my schedule or just make quick notes. It was um, quite inconvenient because fountain pen ink takes significantly longer to dry on the Tomoe River paper. And even though that problem could be solved by using a piece of blotter paper between the pages, it just to me was not worth it. It was, you know, just too inconvenient. And I ended up with several smears that week by going in and making notes with a fountain pen. So I've decided to reserve my fountain pens for my other journals and go back to either the uh, UniJet Stream 0.7 that I'm using now or the Hobonichi pen to be my two primary pen choices. I'm just going in on the left side of this spread and make a note of any day specific appointments or tasks that I have for the week. I went first to my monthly view at the front of the book and made note of a couple appointments that were on the calendar. I had a couple birthdays to make note of this week as well. But some of the things that I always track on this side of the spread are timed appointments, um, hair appointments, dentist appointments, any medical appointments, work-related meetings, um, day-specific tasks, things of that nature. Now, if you were looking for other items to track in your weekly planning, you could also add your work hours or schedule, especially if your job has flexible hours. You could add specific cleaning tasks on specific days or details of your morning routines or nightly routines. You could add um, items that you want to buy or even a grocery list. Or you could also add prompts on each day if you participate in any social media challenges like the Rock Your Handwriting Challenge or the Hobonichi Challenge. I know there's just countless um, social media challenges 
that exist now for different lettering and doodling and things of that nature. So those are just some ideas of other things that you could easily add into your weekly plan. Now on the right side of the spread, I'm just going in to do a weekly to-do list on the top part of the page. And these are tasks that I need to get done this week, but not necessarily on any specific day. It seems recently like my to-do list has been um, getting busier and I am going back and adding quite a bit throughout the week. So I wanted to leave ample room this week for that list to be able to grow. One of my goals for this week is that I wanted to have a very clean looking spread. I've kind of bounced uh, around and tried several different things since I started this new book toward the end of November. I've done more, um, although I haven't done any what I would consider heavy decorating in this book yet, I've done more light decorating and added like stamping and a few stickers or tip-ins um, in some previous weeks. And I've also done two or three pin only spreads. So for this week, my goal was to kind of strike a compromise between the two. And I did add um, very little decoration, but I added a couple hand-drawn shadow boxes that you'll see shortly and a few strips of washi. I just mainly wanted this week to be very functional and clean looking. And so at the bottom of the right side of the spread, I added some habits that I want to improve on in general, um, those being morning pages, my cleaning routine, I need to drink more water, and be more consistent with my nighttime routine. So I just went to the very bottom of the page and kind of counted upward to where that little part of the spread will come all the way down to the bottom of the right side of the page. And then that allowed me to take advantage of the remaining room to have the largest box possible so I can go back in throughout the week and add as many additional tasks as necessary to that to-do list on the top. So these are those hand-drawn boxes that I mentioned earlier. You could definitely use a ruler or any type of straight edge to get a more um, perfect line for those boxes. I just chose to do it by hand, so um, they are a little imperfect. And then I'm going in with a gray zebra mild liner highlighter to give them just a little bit of a shadow look. Now on the right side, right about there, you'll notice I kind of made a mistake and got a little um, off track. So to conceal that a bit, I just went back over each of the lines to darken them up a bit. And I think it ended up looking fine and gave it uh, even more of that shadow effect. And so after I double up those shadow lines, I'll go in next with two types of washi. And I just, since I had simplicity on my mind, decided to go with just black and white theme for the week. So I have that little black and white um, kind of polka dot looking washi that I'm laying down on each side of the page. And then because there was slightly more room on the left side, I used another black and white washi that has uh, kind of an abstract number spread on it and just doubled over that other washi. So that is all the decoration that I did for this week. I am happy with how this spread turned out in terms of function and aesthetics. So I'm just kind of putting the book back together with my Not Just Knots paper clips and I keep the pencil board that has the Today tab behind this immediate spread. So the combination of the two helps me flip open to this day very easily and very quickly. So that is it for this week's spread. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.